Ronald was moving to college. He needed a place to stay. Every apartment around the school was very expensive. I'm going to be a homeless college student, he joked. Ronald thought of a solution. He posted an advertisement online. He wrote, Looking for a roommate around college campus. Must be neat and sane. Within one day, he had 20 replies. Ronald didn't really want to share an apartment with a stranger. However, this was the only way he could afford anything. I just hope he's not dirty or crazy, he thought. After interviewing everyone, he picked a guy he really liked. They ended up being friends their whole lives. Laura cared a lot about the environment. She worried about the future of the planet. She made sure to recycle everything she could. She even rode her bike everywhere she went. Laura wanted to do whatever she could to prevent pollution or global warming. One day, Laura was riding her bike home. A truck in front of her threw a bag of trash out their window. This made Laura furious. She picked up the bag and followed the truck. When it finally parked, she threw the bag into the window. The driver of the truck turned out to be a cop. He charged her on two accounts. One was for assault of an officer. The other was for littering. Karen hated wearing makeup. She felt fake and weird when she wore any. All her friends laughed at her. Don't be a little boy, they would say. You're going to look ugly without it. Karen believed them. Apart from not liking how it felt, Karen hated the price. Makeup is very expensive. She did not want to waste money on it. But every girl she knew wore it. I guess I have to buy it, Karen thought. One day, Karen met a boy she really liked. He thought Karen was nice and funny. Still, he didn't want to ask her out. Why not? asked his friends. She wears too much makeup, he replied. Mr. and Mrs. Green were new parents. Their baby was born two months before. For two months, they hadn't gotten any sleep. The baby took every minute of their days. They needed a break from parenting. We're going to go crazy, said Mr. Green. Mr. Green's mom told them to go on a vacation. She would take care of their baby while they were gone. That sounds like a great plan, said Mrs. Green. The couple packed up their bags and were on their way quickly. The new parents thought they would love their first time away from the baby. They were very wrong. All they could do was worry about whether he was okay. They drove back home after one day. Stephen had just moved to California. He had so many things to see and do. He wanted to go camping by the beach. He wanted to visit Hollywood. But above everything, he wanted to go to Disneyland. Stephen drove to Anaheim the first chance he got. He had been dreaming of seeing Disneyland since he was five years old. He was now twenty-five. As soon as Stephen walked into the park, he turned into a five-year-old again. He was so full of excitement that he cried. Stephen went back to Disneyland at least once every month. He loved his new home. 
Mr. Robinson was a cool grandpa. All the neighborhood kids loved him. He always had funny jokes to tell. He taught them how to play fun games. He even gave them ice cream every Sunday. The kids never wanted to leave his side. One Sunday morning, the kids were waiting for him to open his door. He never showed up. Mr. Robinson had passed away. Every house was filled with crying kids that night. The kids would meet at his grave every Sunday afternoon. This went on for many years. They would sit around and tell old jokes. They always brought ice cream. Mitchell buys a cup of coffee at his local cafe every morning. He always sees the same homeless man sitting outside. This man waits for people to come out. He asks everyone for change. Although the homeless man is very friendly, Mitchell does not like him. He is useless and lazy, Mitchell always said. One morning, Mitchell was running late to work. He stormed out of the cafe doors. Then he ran across the street to his car. Since he was in a hurry, he did not check for traffic. Suddenly, all he saw was a big white truck about to run him over. Luckily, the homeless man pushed Mitchell out of the way just in time to save his life. Mitchell gave him five dollars every morning after that. Samantha Williams was a young and pretty woman. Men were always asking her out on dates. Samantha did not want a boyfriend. She nicely said no to every man that asked her out. This broke many men's hearts. However, most of the men would just move on. One day, a man asked Samantha out for a cup of coffee. When she declined, the man was very angry. He began following her everywhere she went. Every time Samantha looked around, he was hiding nearby. Samantha was terrified. She was being stalked. Samantha called the police to ask for help. Don't worry, they, they told her. You're probably just imagining everything. Two days later, Samantha went missing. Harris had just turned 75 years old. He was feeling so ancient. He wanted his youth back. He used to be strong and handsome. Now he was wrinkly and flabby. He used to love adventure. He even wrestled an alligator once. Now he was too lazy to even go for walks. Time passed by too fast, he kept thinking. I need to be more daring. Harris knew what to do. I'm going to go skydiving, he said. He picked up his grandson. We're going on an adventure, he told him. By the time they got to the airport, Harris was asleep. Forget it, said Harris. It's nap time. Wilson hated his job. His boss was a mean man. He didn't even get paid well. Wilson wanted to just give up and quit. However, he had to take care of his two kids. I want to give them a better life, he always said. Finally, Wilson decided to start changing their lives. He enrolled into college. He took classes every night. He quit his awful job. 
he eventually became a doctor. He started getting paid a lot. He was able to buy a nice house for his family. It even had a white picket fence. The American dream was finally his. Clark had a lot of passions. He liked science. He was a great swimmer. He was even great at singing. However, his biggest passion was pizza. He loved pizza. Clark graduated from college with a degree in chemistry. His parents were so excited for his future. You're going to make a great doctor, they always said. Clark did not want to be a doctor. All he wanted was to open up his own pizza place. That's ridiculous, said his mother. Think about how much money you could make as a doctor. Clark did not care about money. All he wanted was to spend every day making, smelling, and eating pizzas. Elizabeth Parker wanted a promotion. She had been working in her company for three years. It's about time I get a raise, she thought. I deserve it. She did deserve it. She was the hardest worker in the company. Her manager was now looking for a new assistant manager. Elizabeth was sure she would be picked. A month before this, a new man had been hired. He was very handsome, but also very lazy. Elizabeth's manager was clearly attracted to him. She was so attracted to him that she gave him the promotion. Elizabeth was shocked. She quit that day. Mrs. Adams took a knitting class. She did not expect it to be very fun, but she ended up loving it. She began knitting all day and night. First, she practiced making blankets. Then, she learned to knit hats and mittens. She even tried making socks and pants. Within one month, she had given all her grandchildren dozens of knitted pieces. She expected the kids to wear them at all times. It was the middle of summer. The children wanted to be in tank tops and shorts, not scarves and sweaters. They told their grandmother to stop. Joey Campbell was 14 years old. He had three sisters and no brothers. His father loved playing sports with him. Joey did not mind this. However, all Joey was truly interested in doing was dancing. All his sisters were allowed to take ballet classes. Joey wanted to sign up too. His father laughed at him. He thought he was joking. You know you belong in a football team, said his father. This made Joey angry. It was not fair that he was not allowed to dance if he wanted to. His sisters agreed. They secretly taught Joey all the moves. On the day of their ballet recital, Joey danced with them. His father was very proud. Jack Miller was angry at his neighbors. They are so inconsiderate, he said. These neighbors were very loud. They owned three dogs, two birds, and one goat. None of these animals ever shut up. Even more, they loved playing music all day. Jack would not mind this. However, his neighbors played it loud enough for the whole block to hear. It wouldn't be so bad if their music wasn't terrible, said Jack. 
Luckily, these neighbors soon moved out. Jack couldn't be happier. He would finally enjoy peace and quiet. Unfortunately, the new neighbors arrived with a baby. This baby cried just as loud as all the other things put together. It was Anderson's birthday. He was turning 21 years old. His friends planned a party for him. Anderson could now legally drink alcohol, but his friends wanted him to get very drunk. As soon as Anderson arrived, they gave him his first shot of tequila. He did not like the taste of it. His friends still convinced him to take another shot of it. He kept trying new drinks the whole night. All of these taste disgusting, said Anderson. The rest of the night kept getting blurrier. When Anderson woke up the next morning, he felt terrible. His head was throbbing. His stomach was turning. I'll never drink again, he yelled. Philip's dog had died. He had owned the dog for four years. He loved him so much. Philip was devastated. Philip's six-year-old daughter loved the dog even more. Oh no, said Philip. This is going to break her heart. He did not want to tell his daughter such sad news. Philip decided to lie. He told his daughter that the dog ran away. The girl cried for hours. Philip took her to the dog pound to check if they had their dog. Their dog was obviously not there. However, there were a lot of other cute puppies. Philip and his daughter took a new pet home. It was Scott's wedding day. He was very nervous. I don't think I'm ready for this, he thought. His forehead and palms were sweaty. His heart was racing. He was having a panic attack. Scott saw the front door of the church was open. Nobody was looking at him. He decided to run away. He stepped out of the church. He thought he was free. When he looked back, he noticed someone running after him. It was the bride's father. The old man was very fast. Come back here, the father yelled. I already paid for everything. Nelson got a new skateboard. He had only practiced for two days. All his friends already knew how to do tricks. Nelson was very impatient. He wanted to do tricks like everyone else. Nelson decided to try to jump down a set of stairs. Don't do it, said his best friend. It can't be that hard, Nelson insisted. Tony Hawk makes it look easy. One minute later, Nelson was flying three feet above the ground. He felt like he was flying in slow motion. Suddenly, he slammed into the concrete. Everything went black. Nelson woke up in the hospital. He had two broken arms. Even worse, his two front teeth were now missing. Martin is a long-distance ocean swimmer. He practices every morning in Hermosa Beach. One morning, he ran into a great white shark. He only saw it for one second. Then it quickly bit his ribs. Martin was carried to shore by his friends. He lost a lot of blood. Luckily, Martin somehow survived. None of his organs were taken. As soon as he healed, Martin went back to swimming in the ocean. He was not scared of sharks. Getting attacked by a shark is rare, says Martin. 
The ocean is their home. People are just guests. Plus, I probably just scared this shark. Angie Walker was going on a date. Her makeup was done. Her outfit was perfect. There was still one big problem. Her hair looked terrible. She had already spent one hour brushing it. It still wasn't looking any better. Angie's date was picking her up in half an hour. I don't know what to do, she screamed to her mother. Try curling it, suggested her mother. Angie turned on the straightener and wrapped her hair around it. Suddenly she smelled something nasty. Her hair was burning. She pulled the straightener away and a big chunk of hair fell off. This is a sign, cried Angie. I'm canceling my date. John Thompson finally got a girlfriend. She was very pretty. John wanted to do everything he could to keep her. On Monday, his girlfriend wanted to go jogging at 6 a.m. John wanted to sleep longer. He went with her anyway. On Tuesday, his girlfriend wanted to go shopping. John hated shopping. However, John still went with his girlfriend. On Wednesday, John's girlfriend wanted to have a picnic. The park gave John allergies. He still went just to keep her happy. By Thursday, John was very tired. He got a call from his girlfriend. John decided not to answer. I think I like my couch more than my girlfriend, he said. Chris Miller hated his college life. He was very fat. All his classmates made fun of him. It was hard for him to lose weight. People wouldn't stop laughing at him. After he graduated, he finally had time to go to the gym. He worked out every day. Eventually, Chris was hired to be a swimsuit model. He was very successful. Fifteen years later, his college reunion arrived. No one was able to recognize him at first. He looked very fit and handsome. He couldn't recognize anyone else either. They had all gotten fat and ugly. Jackie Davis had never owned a pet. She had always wanted one. She decided to go to the pet store. She bought a fish. This should be pretty easy to take care of, she thought. The fish died after one week. The water must have been dirty, Jackie said. She had only fed the fish once. Jackie went back to the pet store. She decided she was ready for something bigger. She bought a bird. The bird died after two weeks. He was probably sick, said Jackie. She ignored the empty food plate. Jackie visited the pet store one more time. She bought a dog. Within one week, the dog ran away. He was very hungry. He had run after a taco truck. Jenny Carter wanted a new white dress. She saw the dress in a store window four months ago. The dress was very expensive. Jenny had been saving her money to buy it. She finally had enough money to afford it. Jenny cashed her check at the bank. Then she ran to the department store. She tried the dress on. It fit perfectly. Jenny paid for the dress. She decided to wear it out of the store. She stood at the sidewalk with a big smile on her face. 
A car quickly sped by. It ran over a big puddle. All the dirty water splashed onto Jenny's dress. The dress was now dirty. A woman from the store popped her head out. We don't make refunds, she told Jenny loudly. Henry Lopez took his son Mario to the zoo. Mario loved animals. Henry thought the zoo would make his son happy. Instead, Mario was very angry. What's wrong? asked Henry. All the animals look so sad, said Mario. They want to be free, not stuck in cages. Henry was surprised. He looked at the tiger in the cage. Mario was right. Henry had never noticed how sad all the animals looked. By the time Henry looked down at his son, Mario was gone. Suddenly, Henry heard a lot of people yelling. Mario then came running proudly. Don't worry, Dad, he said. I opened the sad lion's door. Daniel White dreamed of being a painter. There was one small problem. He had never actually tried painting before. Still, he loved the idea of it. He was sure that he could be great at it. Daniel decided to take his first painting class. Painting turned out to be harder than he thought. All of Daniel's paintings looked terrible. For a whole year, Daniel practiced his painting skills. There was no large improvement. Daniel decided that it was time to give up his dream. I'll just try something else, Daniel said to himself. I've always thought I would make a great rock climber.